One million dollars. The city of Las Cruces estimates that could be the yearly tax revenue for marijuana sales. That's if sales stay as strong as they are now. The industry has brought in more than $150,000 from April uh, to and May alone. But how will city leaders spend that money? ABC 7's Kate Beard reports from Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. These city leaders are still deciding how to spend the tax revenue that has come from marijuana sales. It's been an incredible two months, honestly, for legalized cannabis, and I'm excited for what that's going to mean for our community. If sales stay strong, marijuana could bring in hundreds of thousands of dollars to the city of Las Cruces by the end of the year. That's according to city staffers. And we have poten the potential to receive close to a million dollars on that. How do we use this strategically and that it makes the biggest impact on the community, particularly on the community that needs it the most? One option, the city could invest the money into the Tel Shore Fund, originally intended to help sick and indigent people, but Las Cruces has used it in the past for emergencies like the COVID-19 pandemic. You no, know, if we're putting this into the Telshore Fund, that there's an added layer of, uh, there's an added lens of equity that, that really is looking at the people who have been most disproportionately affected. The mayor said he hopes the tax revenue could help with homelessness, mental health and substance abuse. I would really like to see it go towards quality of life uh, initiatives, ways that we can be proactive at improving people's quality of life here in our community. Some city leaders wanted to act now, but others said it's best to wait on the guidance of the state of New Mexico so they don't replicate how the state spends its share of the tax revenue. Reporting from City Hall with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Neary, ABC7. All right, Kate.